Siblings have started a new nonprofit with a new approach to promote climate action. That's right, and I had a chance to talk to the pair and learn more about their very specific mission on this Earth Day. And in the name of nature, I declare that we must act now. Actually, the acting is really not the problem. I feel like you're rocking that. What we need to do is take action. And that is exactly what this brother sister acting team has done by launching their own environmental nonprofit, Nature's Negotiators, in 2023. Hi, I'm Max Lacey Donovan. And I'm Claire Margaret Donovan, and we're here to tell you all about Nature's Negotiators. Claire and Max Donovan, or Double Donovan for those on YouTube, have been acting in Hollywood for years. Claire is currently studying in Chicago at the renowned Second City, and Max is in his second season of that 90s show on Netflix. I asked them about their latest role playing the middleman for the environment as a nature's negotiator. We know that environmental change can't come without economic change and we want to make sure that we're taking all of that into account when we come to the table. We don't want to be pointing fingers or anything like that. We just want to bring everyone on a given topic to the table so that a real solution can be found. We're really lucky we don't have any overhead fees for our nonprofit. Um, so yeah, part just of the <laughs> we, yeah, we formed it in such a way where we could funnel funds to causes that are already established doing amazing things. Like the Jane Goodall Institute they're now working with and using as a model by finding very specific issues at the grassroots level they can actually change. What can we do to help your community thrive while also helping the environment thrive around you? They recently took that approach to Alaska for their first official fundraising campaign, Long Live the King, Salmon. With that $5,000, we had funded a local set netter. Thanks to the new technology and the fishing nets they funded, more king salmon are getting upriver to spawn instead of getting caught up in nets. The same can't be said for their Hollywood friends. I'm here in Hollywood where Max is about to do a taping of that 90s show. But this is much more than a soundstage to Max and his sister. This is a platform. They're using it to recruit castmates to the cause as social media ambassadors. Sam, Ashley, Ren are all nature's negotiators. It's really cool to see young people trying to fight against a really big thing that uh, older generations are ignoring and it's just like, it's really cool to be able to use our collective voice to try and make some real change. They're not just saying they're gonna yeah. do all these things, they're actually, there are action steps that they've taken and they're actually evoking change. Yeah. And that's very admirable. And part of their mission, change mindsets from helpless to hopeful. Important to spread that message of hope to our generation and let them know, hey guys, it's all gonna be fine. We've got this, it's in our hands. And speaking of that, they just launched their new campaign today for Earth Day, fighting to preserve more than 150 miles off the coast of California. It would be the first tribally nominated marine sanctuary ever. So the first time that a tribe, the Chumash Heritage National Marine Sanctuary, um, is working with the U.S. government to do something like this. And if you would like to learn more about the nonprofit, Nature's Negotiators, we have a link up on our website, fox5sandiego.com. The scene on Fox 5 tab is at the top of the page. You just hit that for the drop down menu. You can also follow them on Instagram, and I've been posting about it, and it's just really fun how they've taken, they just really target and pinpoint and narrow in yeah. on one thing they can change, then they change that, like mm -hmm. the netting yeah. up in Alaska for this one fisherman, and now it's being studied, and they're seeing like the domino effect wow. of people seeing it and studying it and how much more salmon are getting upstream, and wow. you know, it's really impressive. That's, I mean, it's in, when you, th you think of climate change or global change, right, that just is such a daunting thing to think about. So it's really great that they're making it digestible and really being specific with what certain things are helping, mm -hmm. what we are researching, what we still need to know. So that's really, really awesome. And they're doing it in a way that people want to watch, right? Like they're reaching so many different audiences with their platform and doing it in a way that can make sense. Yeah, to your point, like it's such a big, Thing. Yeah, it's it overwhelming. is. But if this generation, especially, this is their world. It's our right. world. This is their world. Right. And, you know, each generation, they need to, to, to be proactive. We all right. need to be proactive. Yeah, and I just love the fact that it's a hopeful message mm -hmm. because all the headlines that we deliver every mm -hmm. day about climate change are generally pretty grim. Yeah. And yeah. so they're saying, actually, we got this. Mm -hmm. Here's some really succinct, specific things you can do. Mm -hmm. Join our cause. And look, they just raised five thousand dollars. That's not a ton of money. And look what they did with it. Yeah, that's amazing. They and made a change that's having a ripple effect. And 
and the climate change can really impact different areas in different ways, right? And so for them to be able to be so uh, expansive in terms of the change that they're trying to make is really, really awesome. And I yeah. hope people join their cause. Yeah, so. they're funding their think tanks, yeah. getting people at the table. Especially as, and their, uh, as their, their opportunities become bigger, <laughs> yes, their platform their gets star bigger. Is right? rising. Those yeah. are the right. influencers I want to support. Yes. <laughs> well put. Well put.